Hey, what is going on everyone? This is your boy from Side, the Bengal Dragon. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe and bell notification buttons. And thank you if you already have. Your support is very deeply appreciated and it keeps me motivated to keep making these videos. Right, this is the second ODI 2021 preview of the match between Bangladesh and New Zealand. I believe it is about to start just under 24 hours from now. So, Tommy McBall mentioned in its previous post-match press conference or post-match interview that he takes pride in his batting, so does the rest of the Bangladesh team. And you saw this from the very approach that Bangladesh and especially Tommy McBall took and Shambhu Shakar tried to take, but eventually failed because it is New Zealand's bowling that gave them, a, you know, gave them the advantage. New Zealand doesn't necessarily need Tim Saudi, but in ha in home conditions, New Zealand have enough bowlers. In fact, I'm I'm surprised we did not see Lockie Ferguson. Matt Henry is you know a very good option to have. Last time or last series, uh, we had Colin de Granholm, and whenever Colin de Granholm used to come in, and I mentioned this in previous matches with Colin de Granholm, which did not involve a New Zealand trip. That whenever he used to come in, he used to get a wicket, and Bangladesh needed to stop that. So right now, it seems that Jimmy Neesham is sort of ta taking that place right now. So Bangladesh need to stop giving wickets to part timers, or well, Jimmy Neesham is more of a all rounder than a part timer. But still, um, New Zealand have a good spinner in Mitch Sadner, and I'm actually pleasantly surprised that. He's become as threatening as he has because he knows how to properly bowl in those conditions. And this also leads me to question what Daniel Vittori is actually teaching the Bangladeshi spinners. When your best spinner is Sheikh Mahdi and Mahdi Hassan Miraz, although he's trying some things, but he's trying the Bangladeshi tricks in New Zealand, it leads me to believe that uh, Bangladesh should, as soon as possible, uh, you know, find a proper... Bangladeshi or proper coach, preferably a Bangladeshi coach, to replace Daniel Vittori in terms of our spin. Because we can't continue to rely on people from the, well, what they feel is the bigger nations. We have to start thinking like teams that can win. We have to stop thinking like small people. And I've made a previous video about this as well, that Bangladesh have a mentality issue where they start where they think think like small people like you know they're 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 cricketers and as a result their cricket suffers and this is right to the administration as well otherwise uh, someone like Muhammad Salahuddin he would have gotten a prominent role in the BCB as you know you know by now okay so Bangladesh if I were the selector I mean First thing I would drop, um, here's the thing, I'd either drop Hassan Mahmood or Mustafa Rahman. I'm sorry it has come to this, but Mustafa Rahman is starting to become a liability on, on the team. And maybe he should be like tested and maybe he should be jolted a little by dropping him. Saying that even someone as prominent as Mustafa Rahman is not free from, uh, from being dropped. And the replacement would be uh, Rubel Hussain. And if you have to bring someone else in, if you have to, uh, I mean, Tafsir Ahmed, I'll definitely keep him. But if you have to br uh, keep Hassan Mahmoud, or you have to drop Hassan Mahmoud and Mustafa Rahman, I would try Sharif al Islam as well. Okay. And um, if Bangladesh choose not to play Shamma Sharkar and move Mahmoudullah up the order, then in Mahmoudullah's place, they can actually bring in Muhammad Saifuddin, where Muhammad Saifuddin is a more of a bowling option when it comes to that extra bowler. Because now Shambhu Sharkar is fulfilling that role, and Shambhu Sharkar is not that sixth person like in a prominent role. He's not necessarily fit for that just of yet, because he's a batsman who can bowl. Muhammad Saifuddin He's more of a bowler who can bat, and that's why his position down at number six or number seven, it is a bit more justified. So, those are some of the changes I would make. However, 
if Bangladesh do not decide to drop Shomu Sarkar, then I would stick with this current order. I would just change up some of the pace options. Maybe drop, uh, because if I'm not mistaken, Sheikh Mahadi is a batsman. Why is he batting at number eight? Because if your first seven batsmen couldn't do anything, you think your number eight is going to save you? So instead of Sheikh Mahadi, I would actually play Nasul Mahmud, you know, give him a debut as well. Because if we have one left-arm spinner and one right-arm spinner, that would actually do pretty good. And besides, Mehdi Hassan can bat, although I'm yet to see it. But then again, these are some of the most difficult conditions to actually score proper runs. It seems in New Zealand, almost every time, the only team that can score runs is New Zealand. Because they know how to score runs in, their, in those specific conditions. But... Regardless, this is actually a problem that Bangladesh is confronted with right now, and thus they have to try and solve this problem. They cannot shy away from it, or they cannot avoid it. They have, they, you know, they're, f they're face to face with it, so you know they have to deal with it, and they have to try and find a solution to finding a way to score a lot of runs. Okay, so that's in terms of the batting and the. Bowling. One thing that Bangladesh cannot afford to do at all, in my opinion, is bring in Nazmul Hussain tomorrow. Okay? Because if he comes tomorrow, he is not going to perform. On the day, he is not going to perform today. He will only perform maybe tomorrow, but not, not on the day. He won't perform today. So Nazmul Hussain, Shanto, absolutely not. Do not bring him in. And Bangladesh, they have a decent bench strength. Who knows, you know, maybe give Naim Sheikh a try. So that's for the Bangladesh perspective. And Bangladesh, they have to be much more better with their, much more better with their pace bowling. They really have to be much better with the pace bowling. And see, 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 see. Shakib was not lying when he said that in the last five years, five to six years, you haven't seen that many big names come up, you know, come up from the H HP squad. He was referring to the international scene. He was not referring to under 19. He was referring to the international scene, the extreme highest level of international and world cricket. And let's be honest, apart from Mustafa Rahman, and Mehdi Hassan Miraz, and even Mehdi Hassan Miraz, he's now perhaps on that chopping block thing as well. Like, or he's starting to get, him, you know, starting to find a suitable spot on the chopping uh, on the chopping block, you know, make reservations for it, and maybe a Litton Das. Who else do you have? You could. Let me make this brutally honest. Bangladesh could not find a replacement for Abdul Razak. Let that sink in. Bangladesh could not find a replacement for one of our most prominent left arm spinners. Shakib is not a replacement. Shakib is an ally. Bangladesh could not find another replacement for Abdul Razak. Taijul Islam tried, but Taijul Islam is a test bowler. And even in ODI, the few times he has bowled, Tajul Islam is a test bowler. Abdul Razak is more of an ODI bowler. or No, actually Abdul Razak is a little bit more complete, but not that suited for T20s. But the fact that Bangladesh could not replace Abdul Razak, where one time Bangladesh was known as the king of left-arm spin, like you know, the country with a factory line of left-arm spinners, we can't find a good left-arm spinner right now. That's why I said, like, give Nasim Muhammad a try. Give, uh, you know, if, if Naeem Hassan is in this team, I'm like, you know, I kind of forgot. If he's in this team, give him a try. So Shakib al Hassan was not lying. And the BCB have no right to, you know, to be mad about this. Because they know that, like, you know, their management is not that good. Yeah, and, um, okay, Shakib could have um, chosen his words a bit better, but, yeah. You don't actually put words into players' mouths. Because at this point, remember, Bangladesh needs Shakib more than Shakib needs Bangladesh. 
The Bangladeshi cricket team needs Shakib more than Shakib needs the Bangladeshi cricket team. Because this is the era of T20 World Cricket, franchise leagues all around the world, you can actually make a very good living without playing international cricket for your nation's side. So, I don't know what Akram Khan is thinking, that, you know, we're going to reconsider his thing. Okay, you're going to you're gonna reconsider my NOC? Okay, I'm going to announce my retirement, and I'm, I'm going to play in IPL anyways. Like, what if Shakib says that? Anyway, so, but, but you know, hopefully Shakib and the BCB can actually come to some, you know, you know, can finally, like, you know, put this behind them. Okay, but getting back to the ODIs. Um, New Zealand, they, they have a lot more room for experimentation. And also Kane Williamson and Ross Taylor is coming back in. So Bangladesh absolutely lost their chance to actually make an impact. In fact, if I'm not... Listen, if, if New Zealand bat first, Bangladesh are going to get embarrassed even harder. Bangladesh are 99.9% .9 going to lose this match. But there is a 60 or 70% chance that Bangladesh will lose the match by a humiliating margin if New Zealand bat first. If New Zealand bowl first, Bangladesh can... Bangladesh will not touch 250. The 60-70% chance Bangladesh will not touch 250. And even if they do, 99% chance Bangladesh will, will, will lose this match. Because it's just this New Zealand riddle that, especially in the limited overs format, that Bangladesh, they don't know how to solve. And thankfully, there are no test matches this time, so Bangladesh don't have to face Neil Wagner. So... Like, you know, remember last time, like, or one of the times where um, Mushik Rahim was taken to the hospital and stuff, so. But anyways, um, those are my thoughts on the second match preview. Please let me know what you thought about, uh, what you think about the prospects of Bangladesh and New Zealand in the comment section below. And as always, hit that like, subscribe, bell notification button. This is your boy, Tadri Sai, signing out.